Hello and welcome to another video in the series of tutorials that will help you become more familiar with Expressor. My name is Michael Tarallo. I am with the sales and marketing team at Expressor Software. In part one of this video, I will provide a brief introduction to Expressor DataScript and demonstrate how it can be used in a transform operator. Videos that will follow will cover additional uses of DataScript in other operators and the creation of a DataScript module. DataScript is Expressor's lightweight scripting language, which is an extension of the popular open source embeddable scripting language, Lua. Those who are familiar with other scripting languages, such as JavaScript, PHP, Perl, Python, etc., will feel right at home when using Expressor DataScript. Please note that Expressor provides all the training and documentation that you would need to learn DataScript. However, it is possible to take advantage of the complete Lua language, its methods, functions, and constructs. You can learn more at lua.org. Out of the box, Expressor provides various wizards which define reusable sources and target schemas for Excel files, the limited text, Salesforce objects, and database tables. It also provides graphical operators to read, write, and transform data. Together, they are assembled in a structured manner to define and control the direction and modification of data. We call this a data flow. DataScript can be used in a number of components of an Expressor data flow. For example, it can be used within the transform operator and its business rules. It can perform string, numeric, date, filter, and decision-based modifications on incoming record data. Expressor operators that use the rules editor provide both an intuitive graphical method known as an expression rule and a pure scripting mode known as a function rule. DataScript can also be used in read and write custom operators to consume or produce data from or to other applications that Expressor's standard read and write operators cannot. In addition to executing in line with these operators, DataScript can be modularized into an Expressor DataScript module, allowing data integration developers to create their own custom, reusable, and shareable function libraries. To get started, we will open up our existing workspace, and we will create a new project. Now you'll notice that this workspace has a shared library. The shared library is a way of storing reusable connections and artifacts for schemas and types and operator templates. In order to save time for the recording of this video, I'm going to reference that shared library, and therefore I will not have to recreate any of that. Please refer to other videos in this series to learn how to create those artifacts. Let's create a data flow. And to save some more time, I'm going to switch over to my templates and select the pre-configured read file operator template that is configured with my employee data. Select my transform operator and connect the two together. Let's open up the transformation operator and go into the rules editor. Here's where we can define transformations on incoming attributes. You'll notice the incoming attributes on the left and the outgoing attributes on the right. The blue arrows indicate that data is auto-propagated. Anything in between will be transformed. Let's select New Rule, Expression Rule. Let's provide two inputs into this rule, such as Employee Salary and Department ID. Let's create a computed output called Bonus, and that will be of type Decimal. I do so by selecting Add from the Output Attributes. Let's put Bonus into our Add Output. Now let's define our expression rule. Inside the expression box, you can start typing syntax if you're aware of the function that you want to perform on that data. For example, all incoming attributes must be prefixed with input. By typing in input and selecting dot, you'll notice that the IntelliSense autocompletion will populate the list box of the incoming parameter rules. So for example, if I wanted to just multiply the incoming salary times 0.10, I can do so as such. Now let's say we wanted this business rule to include some if-then-else type logic. For example, let's say if the department ID is equal to 1, then let's calculate bonus to be salary times 0.10. Else, if department ID is equal to 2, then the bonus should be calculated times salary 0.15. Else, bonus is 0.05. Now, there are a few ways to do this. One way would be to use a function rule and type in the Lua data script. But sticking with the expression rule, 
we can navigate over to the menu and select under the basic functions decision. Now decision takes in an input, it performs a comparison, and then returns the desired value. This function and others provide great examples within Expressor's help system. So for example, here the usage, decision, first input is comparison 1. The following after the comma is the return value or the desired value that you would want. Then following is comparison 2, and so forth. By following this usage pattern, I can insert my inputs, such as input that department ID. Now notice that department ID is of incoming type of integer. To perform the correct comparison, I would use two equal signs and then a value of one versus double quote one double quote. Always make sure you understand that the incoming parameter is of the correct data type before performing your comparisons. In this case, department ID equals one. Then the return value will be input dot salary times 0.10. Next, comparison number two, input dot department ID equals equals two, input dot salary times 0.15. And then else input dot sal times 0.05. So that completes the expression inside the transformation rule. Let's switch back over to the data flow. Under operators, select write file, and let's write our results to test our transformation rule. I'll select my default connection, and for the schema for the write file, we will select new delimited schema from upstream output that basically takes all of the upstream attributes, including our new bonus, and will convert them to fields to be written to a delimited file. We'll give it the default name of the limited schema one. File name will be called test output.txt, and we'll include the header record. We'll execute our data flow, and then by selecting the button next to the file name property, I can say open selection, and we can see the data records. If we scroll all the way to the right, we can see our bonus field, and then the appropriate data. So for example, here's the department ID, and here's the salary, 54,000. Department ID is one. We said to multiply that by 0.10, we get 5,400. 500,000, department one, multiply that by 0.10, 50,000. And then here's one, department ID three, which was the else value of 30,000. We said multiply that by 0.05, and we get 1,500. Okay, so to summarize and conclude, going back to the rules editor, this example here is what we call an expression rule. The expression rule will use data script like functions, but it only requires you to specify inputs, outputs, and other arguments to create the resulting attribute that you like to modify or transform. In the next section, I will show you how to use a function rule to create a similar result.